to sit up here. I think you're lost at all. Just a couple of notes as we get started from FGCU. That's a, they took all three from UNF this year, and they have not trailed to half in 18 games. Uh, Coach, if you would, just give us a couple of thoughts on the game, and then we'll open it up for questions. I give credit to North Florida. They're an excellent basketball team. Uh, Parker Smith tried to beat them by himself tonight. Uh, they got obvious contributions from their other team, but when a guy has 29 points and shoots as well as he does, uh, we were fortunate to get out of here with a victory. So uh, they're a team that beat us twice last year, the same players. And we had three close games with them this year, a two-point game at home. Uh, up there on their place, it was a tie game with about seven or eight minutes left. And, we made a run and similar today where it was a, a one possession game with six minutes left and, and we made our run. So uh, this is a good team we beat and, and I'm very uh, happy with how hard we played to, to get this victory. Andy, one of the bigger angles is obviously uh, Bernard didn't have any points at all until 12.53 left and then he, he puts on the cape apparently. What, uh, what was going on there in your eyes? Well, he, he's a very talented offensive player, can do a lot of things. He's difficult to guard one on one. And when he's finishing in the lane, uh, he, we, we go to him. Uh, he had it going there late in the second half, so we, we kept giving him the ball, and he, he, he just made big-time plays. Those are one-on-one uh, uh, -on -one moves that he's worked hard on, and, and uh, he keeps improving. Uh, so when, when you have three guys like we have up here that can all score the ball, uh, we're a pretty dangerous team. Chase um, hit some big threes, but also had some big putbacks in the second half. So what did his game mean to you tonight? He had 22 points and nine rebounds, so uh, it's, I think that speaks for itself. He made the three threes. He's an excellent shooter. In fact, he's leading our team in three-point shooting in conference play. He's also leading us in foul shooting in conference play. Uh, so when you, you have a guy that's 6'8", that blocks shots, that rebounds the ball, and now can step out and, and, and make shots, and then you put him on the foul line, he makes him at the end of the games. Uh, that's why he's second team all-conference. Uh, in my mind, he was first team all-conference, but we couldn't vote for our own players. So. Yeah, he's had a terrific season, and, and he had a great game tonight. And you had a hard time kind of – they kind of were controlling the pace with about six minutes left in the first half. They were really able to slow the thing down. Then you got on a nice little run to start to, to end the first half. You finally got, got it moving a bit and then seemed much more relaxed. What was going on in the first 15 minutes or so? I think it was really a first – first seven or eight minutes, we just were, were missing a lot of – I think we missed three layups. Uh, we fumbled balls away. We, we uh, gave up – a couple uncontested threes, and we, we, we fouled away from the basketball. We fouled a three-point shooter, Parker Smith. We just weren't playing our normal style. It was like, I don't know if we were tight or, uh, we were playing hard, we just weren't playing that well. Uh, and, and they we let them control the tempo. And once we were able to get some stops and, and push the ball down the court, I thought that opened the flow up, especially in the second half, where, where that's our style. We scored 44 in the second half. Uh, and we're a much better team when we can do that. Chase, I think you've had Eight, ten, three-pointers the last four games. I mean, are things just clicking for you out there? I mean, what's feeling good about your shot? I'm like, we got th three players. I mean, Sherwood Brown, player of the year, defensive player of the year. So a lot of people key on them, and then they do a great job. When I'm open, they get it to me. I'm just shooting wide-open shots. Andy, kind of a weird scenario with, with your off day tomorrow and the game, you know, across from you, not until 8.30 tomorrow night. How, how do you handle tomorrow, and, you know, how do you prepare for this thing? And how do you feel about things going into the round, too? Well, it's a little different. You don't know who you play, first of all. So you have a whole day to prepare for Noah. It's, uh, it's a day we'll rest our legs, probably do just a little bit of shooting. And we won't be able to make a game plan until late tomorrow night because Stetson and East Tennessee State, are, I think they split during the year. They're both uh, ha uh, are tough to beat. And it we'll, doesn't matter to us who we play. We're just fortunate to be in the semifinals. And so... We have to worry about ourselves tomorrow uh, and then figure it out late night. Uh, I think they, what, they played the 8.30 8 or yes, 8 8 8 game, so we won't know who, who we play until about 10.30. Big advantage points in the paint for you guys, and certainly the first half. I don't know if it stayed all the way through in the second half. A lot of putbacks and offensive rebounds against a team that you guys have had trouble with with their physical size in the past. Talk about the efforts of you know, Chase, Eddie, and some of the other guys to really give you an advantage inside. I well, think Florida really hurt us in the duck ends the first time we played them. Their big guys got underneath ours and they had a lot of layups. The second time we played them, we did a better job on that because we started switching ball screens and we didn't we didn't allow the entry passes as easily. So that's we continued that game plan today. We didn't give them any duck ends today. Uh, they got a few offensive rebounds early, 
mean, I was upset at halftime because we had 17 offensive rebounds the first two times we played them, and we only had five in the first half. Actually, it was seven, but two of them were team rebounds where they got knocked out of bounds. So we, that was a big emphasis of ours to, to uh, go to the offensive glass, and then we ended up with 20, uh, which was, I, th I thought, one of the turning points uh, in our run. Uh, even when we missed shots, we were able to tip balls out. In fact, Phillip had two, two crucial rebounds down the stretch when he gave Chase a blow. And then Sherwood had a big one down the stretch. So uh, rebounding was a big emphasis of ours all week uh, on both ends. Uh, and, and you have to – Travis Wallace had eight points and D has had two, which is a credit to our whole team because usually they score – Wallace usually has 15 or 16 and Diaz has about 12 or 14 and, and they get layups all night. And, and tonight we stopped that. Bernard, uh, you know, you do so many things for the team uh, on a lot of different plays in transition and defense, but did you realize uh, – you, know, you hadn't even gotten into the flow offensively. I think you were 0 for 5 from the field at that point where you finally started scoring some points. Yeah, first half I was just going too fast. Wasn't in my regular pace. Um, I had came in second half, slowed it down a little bit, caught a little breath. And my teammates were making plays for me, getting me open. So that kind of helped get the transition going in and scoring the, ba scoring the basket. Chase, how do you feel going into to Friday? How do you feel about how the team played today and, and just you know going into the semifinals now at this point? I feel really good. I mean, we played hard. We Guy, a lot of 50 50 balls, uh, getting 20 offensive rebounds. So, if we can keep doing that, it's going to be good. Bernard had another three steals. Short had another great game, about 14, seven rebounds. So, I think with our talent and our way we play tonight, we can beat anybody. And, Andy, how do you feel going into Friday, regardless of who you play? Well, this, this is really up to them. We told them going into this tournament. If, if everyone has said, Do you think you can win this game? I said, Well, if we show up and play, we got a shot. It's our players. They they win and they win games. Uh, we prepare them. They'll be prepared. Whoever we play on Friday night, they have to go play hard. And tonight they did that. Uh, even when we weren't playing well in the first half, they played hard. Uh, so it's up to them. That's how I feel. And Sherwood Player of the Year over there. What what do you think about uh, Friday and and how you guys will perform on Friday going into the semis? Um, I mean, I feel really good about our team. We we're gonna play hard regardless. <clears throat> so I mean, we might, in the first half we might not have made. As many jump shots, uh, we're still getting to a flow of the game. So the thing that we have for us is that we just play hard. Two more questions. Got time for one more. All right, coach. Thank you, guys. Thank you.